let's get right to it. Yep. We seen a post on Instagram and it was a shock. It was very shocking. And I said, we need to talk about it because I remember years ago, my husband had a prophetic message concerning the church of God in Christ church and the church of God in Christ. Well, I'll just say Koji. Koji yeah. was very angry with this. <laughs> yeah. Cause uh, we saw, we saw, we received a lot of back, like bad email. Yeah. You know, concerned. No, like it was, it was horrible. It was very horrible. So I want to say, I want to just make a disclaimer, right? We know it's some good people that love the Lord in the Church of God in Christ um, Church. Okay, we yeah. know that. Yeah. Okay, so we all have to be grown here. But so when we're talking about Kojic right now, we're talking about the bad people or the bad influencers yeah. and the bad leaders that are tearing up. Uh, the church. Yeah, people still need to understand this. Mm -hmm. That you trust yourself. What about other people out there? You trust your you're a pastor, you trust yourself. What about the other branch? Right. So don't take it too personal because at the judgment seat or uh, the judgment day is between you and God. Right. So God will constantly keep exposing things whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not. Right. Truth need to come out. So I, I want to protect this young man's name. Um, if he decides to come out on his own, I see his name fully here. And he posted it with his name fully here. But, you know, I feel like he should come out. He should speak on his truth. Yeah. So I'm going to say allegedly. So this is what he said. Never been to no Diddy party, but I have been to a Kojic convocation. Wow. We're going to also um, show y'all another comment because the, the, the Instagram uh, posted his comment and other people were commenting up under this post. Mm. And so here's another one. Um, I'm going to protect this person's name as well. And I'm not going to read it because it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate, y'all. But the person was, as you can see, is also talking about um, that they did some homosexual activity before uh, the convocation as well. Sad. And these are all the prophetic and prophecy and warnings that we have been given the Kojic administration. We have been warning them for so many years. And as you can see, it's been going on. We did it like three years ago. Wow. It was like back to back three years ago. I'm seeing it right now, as you can see as well. This is young, the young man's picture. We're going to um, blur out his face. You can kind of tell, you know, I, we will keep that part. He's calling himself a prophet. He's calling himself a prophet. So I can imagine um, what he grew up in. I, can I wish a lot of people would just be bold, you know, really come out, because when they come out and speak their truth, I want them to capitalize on something, that what these old people or pastors or bishop did to you shouldn't should never lure you into being homosexuality. That part don't make no sense, okay? But people need to come up and speak out. Because uh, even personally me, watching this Kojic church, uh, you see them on YouTube or Facebook. Instagram. You know, if, you, if you focus on what these people, you, you, man, if you love the Lord, you will tell yourself the truth. A lot of the shouting, a lot, it's just like uh, they're going there for their clothes, for their new suit, for all days. But what they're doing behind closed doors is unbelievable. Majority of these pastors, I said it on those videos, if you go back and search that video, 90% of these pastors, and you ask yourself, what are they really doing? Right. And that's why a lot of them support all this madness that is going around. And they're not saying anything. I saw one video, I don't even know why we didn't sh share the video. So the, the you can tell that the pastor, he got a long nails and a lot of uh, younger uh, boys was panning him and he was cross his leg preaching in the altar. 
and saying, oh, they're lucky uh, when, when they were messing around. Uh, there is nothing like Facebook, Instagram, all these places that they can be exposed. Thank God. You know, I, I, I know a lot wow. of you guys have seen that video. Wow. It was a shocking to hear. Mm. And, you know, Kojic has a bad reputation of a lot of um, flamboyant men being in yeah. the church. You know, it got to be embarrassing for them. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, it's sad to see that what, what Satan is doing in our young men, yeah. in our older men. Uh, the older men has damaged the younger generation in, in uh, some churches, and it's so sad. Yeah, the reason why is really out there in this church is like Koji is just because the bishop that's supposed to rebuke the younger pastors are involved in this and has messed around a lot with these people. So how can he rebuke? It, it, it don't work that way. I mean, like, where's the apostles, the bishops, um, the leaders of the church is supposed to have discernment on what's going on in your church. And I believe that a lot of y'all have probably received re some rebuke in your prophetic dreams, but you're ignoring mm -hmm. them. And because you're a part of it, you love the, the madness, you love the mess. And it's sad because now look at it. It's so out of control. You don't know where to, where to stop at. And then if you, if you rebuke it, then you know that you're going to get exposed for being a part of the, the shenanigans. Yeah. The that's why they're afraid. Yeah. Like that's why even a lot of these pastors are afraid mm -hmm. to call or rebuke any pastor mm -hmm. because, oh, oh, I know what I'm doing in the closed door. Why would I expose this pastor? He might call me out. Mm -hmm. And it makes them to just uh, keep allowing this madness to keep going on. A lot of, okay, okay, look at this, the post that this this boy was commented. Right. How many people? It's sad. And the reason why we are crying over this is this. People are separating, you know, going away from believing Christ. Because of what the pastors, bishop, all these people are doing, what they see. Why aren't they growing up to to be false prophets themselves? You know, because look, look at this, look at this. This person is calling himself a prophet, prophet. and he has feminine clothes on. There are a lot of them on TikTok. A and lot I feel, I, I feel for him because he he don't know any. I'm I, now. We can't give excuses to people because yeah. the word of God is, is clear. Yeah. The word of God is clear. But my thing is, is like, if you see the, your leader that you grew up in that where you see your, your parents are worshiping, you know, these pastors so much, <clears throat> it's just like, they're trained to think that this is a normal thing to do. And they have the boldness to say, I'm a prophet I know. and living in that lifestyle. That that shows you no, a lot. No, like no fear of God. I know. Listen, I know a lot of y'all are going to be watching this video. Let me tell you something. God loves you. He loves you so much, but you need to know the truth. Yeah. The truth will set you free. And I know it's, it's, it's a lot of y'all is, uh, it's hard for y'all to hear the truth. And I respect y'all because a lot of y'all have written us. And y'all do it in a such a respectful way. And I appreciate that. Y'all have emailed us and y'all have said that, hey, you know, we've been getting molested by these men, blah, blah, blah. And how can I live in my truth when I've been getting attacks at such a young age? And uh, y'all been through a lot, you know? And I I know that some of y'all gonna say, oh, I didn't get touched. I just want to be. I just want to be like this. But a lot of y'all got a lot of people that wrote us has been touched, and they don't know how to go about it. Yeah, it's a demonic spirit. Okay, I know that's gonna hurt your feeling, but it's just but facts. It's, truth, it's yeah. just the truth. Yeah, you know, a lot of y'all are having dreams, and y'all having dreams that y'all messing with each other, the same sex, right? And so that is causing you to think, okay, this is okay. Huh. Now it is, it is from the spirit of Satan and the, the enemy is putting this in your head. Okay. Well, I, maybe this is what they, what I supposed to be because I'm getting attracted by my own same sex person. Yeah. This is just the spirit of Satan brainwashing you to think that you are a female mm -hmm. and you're not, you're not, you're not, you know, 
I know that y'all been through a lot of hurt and I want to be respectful to y'all, but you, you just need to know the truth. Yeah. Um, a lot of Satan has infiltrated into the church. Okay. Let's just keep it a buck. W witches have in warlocks have infiltrated into the church because it's the leader's fault. Yeah. They have allowed the enemy to come in, yeah. you know, instead of fasting and praying, um, what happened was these past, these leaders have gotten so busy because they want to be a God over the church. They want to yeah. be a God. Mm. They want to be there for their members as if they are gods. You know, Say. a lot of them have uh, wives and children, but they have pushed aside their wives and children because they want to be gods to the members because money is powerful. Mm. When you give someone attention, the more money they get. Yeah. And and uh, that's the correction that a lot of these churches need to know. You're not God. If a person is crying to you and going through a lot, if you don't have the time to 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 deal with their situation, it's not a sin. Yeah. It's not a sin. Yeah. Like you gotta you if you can't take care of you can't you can't take care of your immediate family good and you giving all your members attention you're wrong that's not right yeah like it's sad charity begins at home yeah i just i just don't get it in that and and uh so that's the issue and uh they have brainwashed these people to say test not my anointing to do my prophet no harm yeah okay listen you you can say that all you want to but i i hope you know that your your some of these passes are false yeah they're false prophets. That mean if they're a false prophet, they don't have no more anointing. So if God is leading someone to rebuke these specific leaders, that's what God wants them to do. Yeah. The anointing is not there anymore. It's not. Yeah, because uh, we're lacking the, the, the new ministers that will be like Jesus Christ. Jesus said, whatsoever that we see him do, we are going to do more better. Okay. Where are those leaders that will turn those tables in the church? Right. Where are those leaders that will do the same thing that Jesus Christ did? Flip the whole table, like turn the whole thing upside down. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. Call evil out. Rebuke some things. Let them stop. Tell them the truth. That's all. But mm. that's what we are lacking in the body of Christ. Amen. That's just the truth. And, and while we're speaking about Kojic and our church of God in Christ, okay, while we're talking about them, let's talk about the Clark sisters. Three years ago, we even, the Lord gave us a prophetic dream concerning the Clark sisters. Yeah. I don't know nothing about them. I don't. I don't even know who they are. And my husband don't even know who they are. He's from Nigeria, okay? I, I always liked them. I don't got no issues with them. They don't know me personally. They never hurt my feelings. They ain't never did nothing to me, okay? But the Lord gives us a prophetic dream for a reason. He knows the secrets. Yeah. He knows the secrets of people. Yeah. And uh, he, they probably have been getting warned, but uh, the level that they're on is hard for a true prophet to come into their midst to rebuke them. It's very hard. Yes. Okay. But somebody like me, I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you have in the bank. Okay. I don't care how big you are. I, it's not my business. I care about the Lord's business. Yeah. So the Lord gave me a prophetic dream. My husband did the interpretation and the Lord, the Lord basically just said they need to repent. <laughs> they need to repent. Now, um, at this moment of our life, we shouldn't even be shocked about this, but we've been seeing some red flags concerning a lot of the, the Clark sisters and the shared. So let's keep it real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, uh, they align themselves with some, some, in some situation that is, um, that it, it causes you, uh, confusion with them. I know. And now, you know, they have been named and been brought up, uh, being around P Diddy. And I'm, I listen, I'm tired. I'm tired of talking about PD and I'm, I'm tired of the whole internet talking about PD because at this moment of my life, I just want him to get caught and let's move on. Yeah. Let's get the rest of them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> like at this moment, let's just get the rest of them. Yeah. But I'm not saying that they are, uh, 
are being brought up in the court case or anything like that. I'm just saying that they was on the list, allegedly on the list of uh, going to P. Diddy's house. I don't know about the parties, but I believe that, uh, but that just shows you mm. something is off. Like, why would a, a believer be around somebody like that? I know. It's just weird. It makes you to ask questions. A lot of questions here. Like, who are these people? Right. Who are these people that call themselves believers, that goes hang around this, these demonic people? Who are those people that are claiming that they are believers? They right. they are serving God. They are, they, they, they are singing for Christ. Right. That they're preaching for Christ. That's are you telling me that uh they don't know. Well, it's time to stop making excuses for people too. Cause I know somebody is gonna say, well, uh, they pro they didn't know what he was doing, or oh, they might we don't know that. But for the Lord to give us a dream that they need to repent is wild to me in the first place. Okay. And then number two, at this at this old age, the discernment should be on point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. listen, we we not we we don't supposed to be drinking milk. You know, I'm talking about the 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 the, the, the ones who've been raised in church, the ones who've been saved for a long time. I ain't talking about baby Christians. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm not talking about the newborn. You drink. There's a lot of them are drinking milk, but you should be on meat right now. Your discernment should be on point. Your prayer life should be on point to, to the point that the Lord is revealing to you who these people are. Yeah. You, if like some of y'all haters out there, keep making excuses for these people. I know. Your feelings will get hurt. Hear, hear what I'm saying? Your feelings will get hurt. Thus saith the Lord. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, yo.